The glorious Gold Coast on Australia's eastern shoreline was the venue for the 2018 World Triathlon Series Men's Grand Final. Mario Mona, champion for the past two years, came in with a massive lead and knew 14th place or better would guarantee he'd retain the title. A huge field of 65 men produced some drama going around the boys. Alistair Brownlee disqualified the double Olympic champion had cut the line round the boy. Meanwhile, up front, no such problems for the likes of Vincent Lewis. Richard Varga, as ever, was first out of the water. An excellent swim, too, from the likes of Henry Schumann. Noble also of Austria right there, along with Johnny Brownlee of Great Britain, who's had an in-and-out season. Early on, a lead group of five on the bikes. That would soon grow to seven, although there was an issue for Vincent Lewis, who misjudged the corner there. He went down, fortunately, no damage to either rider or bike. Stopped Sir Johnny Brownlee in his tracks. The problem was for both Lewis and the leading group, they'd lost all the momentum they'd gained on the chasing pack. And pretty soon, they would all come together, although the Belgian, Martin Van Riel, had other ideas. We've seen him do this often in the past. Deciding to make a little solo break. The most the lead ever got to, though, was around about 10 seconds. A large chasing pack showing no interest initially in catching the man who came in in 10th place overall. It's not just Van Riel, though, that likes to make a break off the front. We've seen it several times from Christian Blumenfeld. And it didn't take long for the Norwegian to join the Belgian up front. And as a duo, they began to put some distance into the pack. There you see Blumenfeld looking for a break, not getting much help from the chasing pack, and soon he was on his own up front with Van Riel, and they were about 35 seconds clear, although disaster struck for the Belgium just an, a kilometre from home, an issue with the gears and then the chain, causing him to have to stop and fix it. That left Blumenfeld all alone in T2, with a 35-second advantage a few weeks earlier in Montreal, he'd had more than a minute lead and been reeled in by that man, Mario Mola. Mola in prime position at this point to retain his title. And Blumenfeld, although he had a handy lead, it was being reduced almost by the metre. All the big names were in behind, the likes of Schumann, Luis Mola himself and Richard Murray. And just before the halfway point in the run, he was caught. Bert Whistle was having a great battle with Brownlee. Bert Whistle trying to get on the podium overall for the series, but two and a half k's from home, Vance Lewis made his move, and for once, Mario Mola couldn't respond, at least in the race. An emotional win for the Frenchman. Back-to-back -back grand final victories for him, and just behind, an even happier man. Three titles on the spin for Mola, only the second man to achieve that after his mentor, Javier Gomez. Richard Murray, Another podium for the South African, who's had a good end to the season. He finished third with Lacour winning a sprint, and Bert Whistle did just enough to get on the podium overall, having edged out Johnny Brownlee for seventh place. Mario, well done. It's one thing for people to say it was your title to lose, another thing to actually bring it home like that. How do you rank that achievement, three straight world titles? Yeah, I don't know. It's now. It's hard to hard to say. But, uh, many many feelings. It's been it's been a great season. Uh, I'm very happy with how things went uh, in the sport side, of course. And yeah, finishing uh, with the second place with uh, my teammate and uh, training partner uh, Van Sant in front. It was a great, great, great race. So one of the most popular men in the sport has to finish second in the race itself, but overall. He's been unparalleled for the last seven months. Four victories, a string of second places as well. And he wins by a distance. At the moment, he's untouchable over a Ladies series of eight races. That may change next year. Bert Whistle enjoying his third overall. Vincent Luis second. Both of them very happy with their seven months work. But at the moment, Mario Mola is the best triathlete on the planet, bar none.